Okay, so I've been playing around with the Consta Kang version of Lineage OS and uh, it is excellent. It runs games better than any before. Uh, I'm running it on a Pi 4 4 gig in the official case, but with a Pimeroni fan shim. And I'm using my wireless Xbox 360 controller. And uh, let's have a look at the games. So using my controller, you can see that I can move around nice and fast. Uh, it feels really swift as an operating system. Uh, if we go into settings, and I use the mouse to do this bit just because it's a bit easier on this bit. So system, and if I go to advanced, go down to advanced settings, you can see the Raspberry Pi icon there. The only things I've changed, uh, so I'm running at 720 resolution, which, which makes a huge difference on performance. Uh, it does anyway on the Pi uh, if you're running games. It, uh, lowering that resolution is a lot less strain on the computer. Um, but also I have overclocked. Uh, I'm trying to find my overclock settings. I've also overclocked to two gigahertz, uh, and so you need some sort of cooling to do that, uh, but it seems to help definitely. So let's go back to the main menu, and uh, at the top here I've got three emulators which work well. I'll probably do them in another video, uh, PlayStation, N64, and PPSSPP. Uh, so ADA64 gives us all sorts of information. Because I'm running at a lower resolution, the information is uh, is done on separate screens, but you can see here Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, uh, the, it shows things like temperature, it shows the 2 gigahertz at the top there, uh, and the screen resolution and so on, so let's quit out of that. This definitely runs much better than before um, as an operating system, it really is quite usable, the web performance is pretty decent, the YouTube performance is pretty decent as well, but let's cover games. Uh, so I've run Android games on a TV for ages. I used to have a, a very cheap Android stick uh, and I've got an Nvidia Shield and all sorts of things. And uh, it's a bit of a mixed bag with gaming on a big screen. Uh, and part of the problem is when you look through the Play Store, it's hard to find out what games are supported. But I found this app uh, and it is ad supported, but it works fine. Gamepad Games Links, uh, and it's clearly a phone app because you'll see when it comes up uh, how it shows. But I used some of the knowledge from uh, previous videos and previous research and picked some of the games from that. Let's just get rid of that. And uh, you can see here, you must have to pay to unlock some of the other things, but if I hit, and I didn't see that emulators before, that's worth looking at. Uh, all games, and you can literally just scroll through. So topple, uh, you, you have to go through uh, paid for and free. But all you do is just uh, scroll down, pick a game, and click on it. So something like Xenowork didn't work. Um, so when you click on it, it will go to install. It gets right near the end, and then it just quits out. And I did have that with a few games, but as you can see from the, the list of games that I've got, there are still loads that I've got running. So let's make a start with something basic. Uh, this was like a Space Invaders clone. So everything is using the controller. I don't think there's any game I have to use the mouse. or the, Actually, there's one game I have to use the keyboard. I'll try and mention which one that is when I get to it, because I can't remember which one. Uh, so hit play. So this is obviously a Space Invaders clone. Um, but it's actually quite, it's quite nice to play. It's quite responsive. Uh, it's quite enjoyable. There's, there's all sorts of twists here as well, that, so they keep sort of replenishing themselves, which is cool. Let's see if we can get this guy at the end. Oh no, we can't get through that. But yeah, I, I actually quite enjoyed playing this. Uh, I quite like it. There's an option for auto fire, and it did make it a lot nicer to use. I'm still not going to get that top thing, am I? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, they did much better on this before. Oh. so close and he's there right so let's try something else uh, on my keyboard uh, f1 no f2 quits me back out to this menu uh, which is quite handy uh, so this is another good game so smashy road on 1080 was a little bit laggy but at 720 it plays really well and uh, it's kind of like a, a bit of a sort of GTA scenario where you're being chased by the police and this was a game where you could turn off the music which is cool So basically, you're driving around, uh, you will get chased by the police, but you can actually get out of the car and pick another vehicle. Uh, I'll keep in this one because I've only just got it. Oh dear. The, but the gameplay and the handling is pretty decent. Oh, I don't know what, I'm, what am I supposed to be heading towards? And just like GTA, they're trying to get... Oh, here we are, look. So I've got increased durability. 
but yeah, this, I mean, I, I used to play the original GTA 1, and this has similar handling, all dear, similar handling to that, and uh, so it's, it's really nice to play. And it's incredibly smooth. So if I wanted to get out of the car, can I get into this vehicle? Oh, oh <laughs> got arrested. But you can see the premise of it. Uh, it is kind of avoiding the police and picking up various pickups, but you can get in the SWAT vehicles and all sorts of things. So another good game. So oh, I really like this uh, Crossy Heroes, I think it's called. So this is a bit like Crossy Road, but you are various different superheroes and you have weapons as well. Yeah, Crossy Heroes. And I don't think you can get this on, because I used to play Crossy Road on my Apple TV, but um, I don't think you can get this version on Apple TV. I don't know what's happening. Oh, here we go. Oh, I've already started, look. I don't think you have to kill people, it's just probably more if they're in your way. But you are supposed to be getting the coins. But yeah, it, it actually works nicely, uh, nice and fast, it's enjoyable to play, it sounds good. Oh, there's a lot going on here, look. I'm not going to get away with that. Oh yeah, we're through. And you can see that there's sort of Frogger style road at the end there. But yeah, so you can see that gameplay, it's just enjoyable. It is a decent game and the, the sound is great. Right, so another game. Uh, this one I found uh, yesterday. I, I, so I installed loads and loads of games and uh, I just thought I'll have another look. And I looked again in this app and this one showed up. And it looked like it might be for, for much younger children, but, it, but the gameplay's decent. Yes, the sounds and the music and everything are very sort of uh, kid related, but it, it plays like Mario 64. And it's quite a nice, cool 3D environment, but it is more about the gameplay, definitely. Oh, and you can skip all this. I really like it when games allow you to skip all that. And here we go. So if I move around the analog stick, so I've got like punch, and I can jump and slide, oh, and I can double jump as well. So like here, so I'm gonna have to, oh, didn't work. Oh, there we go, nice. And we can climb up, and look around as well. Triangle button kind of centers your view, I think, yeah. So, and this is obviously just, I don't know if I can swim under that, do I? At the surface, press B to dive. <laughs> and A to go up. There you go, so definitely worth looking at. Uh, it, it does, it, it's all about when you get gameplay that works well, look at the environment. The environment moves around absolutely fine, but uh, it is all about the gameplay. And you can slide really fast down hills and stuff. And there's a belly stump, which is that. Anyway, on to the next. That's the S-File Explorer, which I always put on Android. Uh, mobile devices traditionally are very bad at file management and the S-File Explorer allows you to copy and paste between, I can have ac access my NAS drive, I can access USB sticks, all sorts of things. And that's how I got the games to be in the emulators. Uh, by using ES File Explorer. So Dan the Man must change screen resolution because it cut out my screen capture. I actually got right to the end of all the games list and uh, I'm having to do it all over again. Doesn't matter because it's playing games and I quite enjoy playing games, so not a problem. And this is a 2D platforming game in the sort of Mario style and it plays really well. Uh, it's really, really responsive. Uh, you've got all sorts of moves and things, uh, all sorts of pickups. And it just, I used to play it quite a bit on Apple TV. It is an enjoyable platformer. Oh, I don't want to kick these guys. Oh, I've got some secret areas as well. There's all sorts of extra elements. Loads and loads of work has gone into this and they obviously love 2D platformers. They've done a great job. So let's quit out of that. 
and as soon as I quit out, my screen capture stops, so it must be switching between resolutions. Right, so Roblox is one I often get asked about. I've done a few videos on Roblox running on a Chromebook and various other things uh, running on the Pi. This initial startup does take quite a while, but if you bear with it, you will get there. The thing about Roblox is there's loads of game modes, and uh, Obviously some game modes probably aren't gonna work, but uh, I found that Natural Disaster does work and works pretty well. It was terrible in 1080, uh, it was unplayable in 1080, but it's 720, uh, it's got a little bit of stutter to it, but it's still all right. So you can see I can look around, I can run and jump. That's about all you can do in this particular game. But uh, I'm just waiting for the thunderstorm to start. You can see it in the distance there, let people getting struck. Right, okay, so there was no instructions there. I don't know what you've got there. Oh, I didn't know people could drive stuff around. <laughs> How does that work then? Oh, and someone's got in that already. Let's get out of the way of that, because I would imagine <laughs> someone just fell off the side. Whoop. Okay, so let's move on to something else. Oh, what's that? There's some. That looks like fire or something there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's probably not good, is it? Right, let's move on to something else. It's a really nice, relaxing game, Alter's Adventure. Uh, so you've got to catch the llamas uh, and also pick up the coins or whatever they are. Uh, and you can do some, some uh, sort of grinds on various different things on the flags. And you can do backflips as well. Just press and hold the button. Oh. I don't know, I managed to crash through the rocks. So this next game is the one that you need to use the uh, keyboard for. It's just the left mouse button. Doesn't seem to work with the controller. I could be wrong, but I don't think it was working with the controller before. You can see it logs you into Google Play services. Uh, and so you're going through these uh, really quite small gaps. I probably could have got through there, couldn't I? There you go. And uh, it's quite enjoyable. Just as a little sort of time passer. That's a hard one, isn't it? That is very hard, because they're moving quite fast around the outside. Oh, rubbish. Right, so, uh, something else uh, would be uh, this driving game. And first of all, I didn't necessarily like the controls of this driving game, but when I found the boost, it's really good. So let's just pick up the controller again. You can see all the menus are controlled by the controller, which I really like various different track selections and things like that. So if I go through that, I'm just gonna use all the default settings. Looks like you can get all sorts of different cars. I quite like the idea of the sort of four wheel drive ones. Let's get some sound on this. And this has got a boost. Yeah, so the X button is boost. But it also uh, has a really nice drift mode on it. So if I like this look, and then there's some jumps as well. It, it's all about the handling in this game. It really handles well. I need to work out what the brake button is. Although I'm, I'm not braking at the moment. It seems to be handling all right. And your drift boosts up. So when you drift around corners, you're, sorry, your turbo boosts up. So you can then use it for quite some time. But yeah, I really like it. I like the graphics of it. They're simple, but they do the job. And the, the handling is, is everything. And the handling is brilliant on this. Really, really enjoyable. So this football game, I really like football games. And I used to play a lot of sensible soccer back in the day. I think this, yeah, this all very nicely controlled by the controller. So this is a game you were playing on your TV and you sat back on the sofa. Uh, it works very well for that, a little Stadia advert there. Isn't it? I'll just move the mouse pointer out of the way, it could be a bit annoying. And it's got the proper names of the characters. Characters, players. Oh, he's there, lad. Oh, he's got a goal. And I haven't really played this very much, um, but it, because it's so much like Sensible Soccer, if you press and hold B, it speeds up the guys running back. Oh, a little back heel there. So you've got a slide kick. This would be the sort of game that's good as a two-player game because you don't oh, you don't necessarily need to be to know the controls. It's just it's one of those games you can just pick up and play. Oh, computer's quite quite a good opponent. 
Right, let's hoof it right up. I don't know if you've got a curve. Let's see if you've got a curve. I'm not sure if you have or not, or if I'm doing it wrong. Anyway, uh, oh, I like the throwing mechanic as well. Oh, I don't know where that was going. And I'm not sure if you've got uh, a, like a run button. Is there anything that seems to make them go faster? Doesn't seem to be all the shoulder buttons and stuff like that. But it, but it is it's nice and playable. A decent game. Next one is this uh, ski game. A bit like Alter's Adventure. But, uh, you know, sort of slightly different gameplay mechanic on it. But, uh, but again, really nicely presented. Nice and smooth. Runs really well. And again, just using the controller. Don't have to reach for the keyboard or anything like that. I think it's the same controls to so just press a button and you jump. And if you press and hold, uh, it does a flip. So let's try a flip. Oh, oh, that was a bit tight. Oh, this is stone. Oh, and if you press, you've got to hammer the button to get up quicker, which I didn't do then. But you get the idea of the game. And uh, and I think again, another one that works nicely on Android. So this mouse game uh, is a driving game, really, but. Actually, the graphics are quite decent and the gameplay seems alright as well. Just thought it was something different. So I've got, oh, I've done level one, so I've got two. So collect seven cheese. How am I supposed to? Yeah, I figured I shouldn't be able to, shouldn't go on the mouse track. I wonder if I, if I whip past it, will I be alright? Or if I just catch an edge? <laughs> no, if you touch the mouse trap, it definitely doesn't work. You see the remains of my cars stay on the track, which is cool. Oh, okay. So obviously you pick up the ones that aren't on mouse traps. Probably could have worked that out, couldn't I? But uh, the environment looks decent, doesn't it? And the, and the handling is pretty good. I'd like a bit more drift in my games. I mean, whether there is drifts or turbos, I can't seem to find anything else. Oh. I only needed seven cheeses, didn't I? And there we are. So jump drive, nice atmospheric game. You basically got to wait for the gates to open, then press the button to shoot through. But it gets more difficult as time goes on. You can see a bit like one of the games I played before, wouldn't it? Similar sort of feel to it. But the music is nice. There we go. So, what else have I got? Oh, this was a game my son used to play this on his iPod Touch, uh, or on my iPod Touch actually, when he was little. Uh, and uh, it was an older version we used to play. But this seems to have added a bit of a puzzle element to it as well. See the advert for Stadia there? So, level three. And the physics of it work quite nicely. I don't know what I've got to do with this. Just get over it, do you think? Or do I... Oh, that was probably to crush the other guy, wasn't it? But he's already gone. Oh, oh no, it's not. It's obviously to do that. So I'm going to have to get some speed up and jump it over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think the puzzle solving of it is pretty decent, really. There you go. Now, Rally Fury, I think this is. Again, this is alright. Again, down to gameplay, the graphics are reasonable on it. Um, not, it's no real racing three, um, but uh, but actually, it's quite enjoyable and quite unforgiving. So some of the physics, I need to. I don't really know the controls on this. I mean, it's a car race. Oh, so it's triggers, triggers, and uh, all right. So and A is boost. It looks like. So let's boost around the corner. Yeah, and let's break into this. Oh yeah, so it's got, so there's a bit of a drift. Okay, it's much better now I know that there's a brake button. Start drifting, use the handbrake and steer. Which one's the handbrake? Oh, that's probably the handbrake. The back was really twitchy. And the last one is a clay pigeon shooting game. And uh, there were loads of like hunting games and stuff like that on uh, that, that support a controller. And if I go for arcade mode, let's go for medium and select that. There you go. And this uses the analog stick nicely. Uh, you've got to press a button to release the clay pigeons. 
There you go. And it, it just is. It's quite enjoyable, really. It's quite satisfying. I've only done the first level, and looking at the screenshots, it looked like there was all sorts of extra things you can get. Oh, I'm doing all right here. I'm doing a lot better than the uh, previous to oh, I missed one. But the the joystick control is is the right level of the right speed and everything. You don't feel you need to adjust everything. Oh, am I going to get them all? Oh no, no! <laughs> Got too excited then. It's a bit. Can you remember the hyper sports where you had to get? Was I supposed to get a football? Uh, it looks like I was. So yeah, another another decent one. Uh, I think that's probably it now. Uh, yeah, actually, let's just do the um, rather than do a separate video. Let's do the emulators at the same time. Um, so PlayStation emulator. Uh, so EPSXE. Uh, there's some sort of plugin I've got on here as well, and I can't remember what it is, but. This is uh, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX, which is, uh, regular subscribers will know, one of my favourite games of all time. Although I'm really playing on GameCube, on my Mac, I'm playing the Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2 uh, with the Xbox controller, it's great. You didn't used to be able to do uh, a manual on the Xbox, original Xbox version. The controller was terrible for manuals and the tricks, uh, but with the, the newer Xbox One controller, it's got the little tiny micro switches and you can you can really do the manual as well. So I put all these games on to, I, I put them into Android using ES File Explorer uh, and then navigated to the game. The setup was pretty reasonable. Uh, emulation on Android is very good actually. And I guess because it's a very lightweight operating system, uh, it doesn't take a lot of resources because PSP, I think possibly runs the best I've had it. And I'm running this on a 240 gig crucial SSD. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the nice thing about that is you just keep installing games on it. Uh, so when I was installing it, I was literally just clicking on everything and uh, and get and trying to get it installed just to give it a try to make the video. But yeah, so PSP, uh, sorry, PS1, uh, you can see works nicely. It's nice and responsive. Uh, this is how this game plays uh, on the original PlayStation because I've played it a lot years ago although that wasn't great uh, but uh, yeah so so really impressed with that oh this is turning out to be quite a long video uh, so n64 uh, my screen capture usually cuts out when I launch this not the easiest platform to emulate but we'll try V rally first a little bit trigger happy there uh, and no issues with sound seems to be working fine uh, seems to play nice and smoothly oh it's tight So if I pause that, no, how do I do it? Yeah, if I press the Y button, uh, I can go into exit. And let's pick the other game on here, which is Mario Tennis. And I've had trouble emulating Mario Tennis. Uh, it often has really quite uh, bad slowdowns with some of the special effects. But this seems to be working pretty well. So the audio can be a bit strange, but the actual gameplay seems to be able to handle it quite nicely. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that bit went, it, you can hear it's a bit, <laughs> bit glitchy on that. Um, but uh, the other some of the other emulators I've tried really struggled with this game, with the special effects and things like that. Although that can be a bit off-putting, that noise in the middle there. Okay, so last one to try would be a PSP, and uh, I've been impressed with how well this runs. So this is on one times rendering resolution. You can go up to two, and it is still pretty playable. Um, but let's just play it with the one times at the moment just to show it nice and smooth and how well it copes with everything. There you go, so pretty good. Uh, but if I click this back arrow down the bottom here and go to settings, I can change to... So if I go down here, I can change to two times rendering resolution and it looks a lot better. Um, but you might get a bit of stuttering see it looks loads better yeah you can hear you can hear in the audio that it's stuttering a bit so if I skip back and go to settings let's just put frame skip on and we'll, we'll put actually we'll put it on auto it's weird because the first time I used it I wasn't using frame skip and at two times resolution, it was absolutely fine. It doesn't seem to be quite as good as it was. Oh, there's a nice car there, that. Love that. Oh, 
Oh, he's get. Oh, he's got me straight away. Look. Hold on. That's better. Now I've got the car. Oh, there's a jump there as well. Let's do one jump before, as I finish this video up. Because I would imagine I could probably get some distance on this car. Oh, not a good angle. Oh, a bit slow. Oh, there's a BMX there, look. Oh, there you go. There's, there's a way to end the video with a BMX. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.